Hey guys, it's Kayla, and today I'm sharing with you a verse that really hits home, especially all before this pandemic really hit us. And so the verse I'm sharing is from Galatians. It is Galatians 6, 9, and it reads, So let's not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. And so let's look at that word weary first, because if we look at the dictionary, it'll say that weary means exhaustion, tired, out of patience, worn out. And so if you feel like before this virus hit that those words at all described you, understand that is exactly the you that Satan wants you to be. You see, Satan wants us to be busy. Satan wants us to feel worn out and just like we're going through the motions and we're not intentional. We're not being present where our feet are. He wants us to fill our lives with things, stuff, busyness, because he knows that we are going to lose that battle every single time. And so it's a little different now, right? Because we're not filling our life with all that stuff. But you see, when we are and we're so busy and we're growing weary and we're tired and we're fatigued, all those things just allow us to lose this battle. And so what are we losing? Well, we're not losing our eternal salvation, but what we do lose is our temper. We can lose our patience. We can lose our perspective. We can lose our peace of mind, these things are not going to help us grow closer in our relationship with the Lord. These things are not going to allow us to endure trials. These things are not going to help us grow the kingdom of God. And so now that we have this long period of stillness that we never, we don't really know how long this is going to go, but we have this period of stillness. We have this period where we're not exhausted every single day. And so what are we doing with our time? What does God want us to do with this period of stillness? And it might look a little bit different for each of us, but one thing I can say for all of us is let's challenge ourselves to grow more intimate with the Lord. Let's challenge ourselves to fully depend on God for all our needs and all of our hopes. And let's challenge ourselves to be the light when we get on social media and you use the hashtag no bad news zone. I'm loving it. I'm using that hashtag right now. And I just love it because I, it does this no good to share any bad news or get caught up in the hype and the conspiracy theories. You guys, remember this is Holy Week. Jesus is risen. Like he is coming. Easter is here and the battle is already won. We do not need to be afraid. We do not need to be worried. Being afraid and being worried can easily overwhelm us right now and that can take over our busyness on how we were so busy and doing 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 before this pandemic well now all we're gonna do is worry 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 and be scared like no that's not what god wants us to do take joy in the lord be still before him be the light worship in your pajamas Let's challenge ourselves to do those things. And I promise you guys, we are going to come out of this in like so much stronger and we're going to have such a more intimate relationship with the Lord. I'm praying for you guys. I love you all. I miss you. Happy Holy Week and have a happy Easter.